white as snow. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Double honor to the Apostle Elvis, great meal song that rule well. So I'll take some all the Akim out here that's pushing his word, his Siri, and truth. Hey, um, Shalawan, y'all, Sharada. You know, we back again, um, another lesson to what? Prophesy the downfall of America. Really, it's all about prophecy. Nothing else really matters. Right? Nothing else really matters. You got these cats, man, these different camps. They talk about black Israelites only. That's not part of the gospel. Right? You got these other cats in the camp talking about Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. That's not the gospel. What else? They talking about America could be saved. Esau could be saved. That's not the gospel. Right? So that's why the Lord set up the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And the men under to what to preach the truth, right? It's all about truth. And a lot of people they ain't they don't want no truth. They don't. That's like telling an ugly broad, hey baby, you don't look no, you don't look too good, baby. She don't want to hear that shit. That's why she don't do that fake eyelashes, the fake hair, the, 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 the clothes, you know, trying to trying to be something she's not. That's America. America trying to be something they not great, right? That facade. They talking about make America great again. America will never be great again. Those days are gone, right? You had them, them happy days or you had the, the Edomites, man. They, they two, two, um, one, one parent working, two car garage, right? The, the kids are listening to the parents. No drug addiction, no, no division. Them days is over, man. So, what we coming to the coming of our Lord and Savior? How about Shimmy? I was shot. Yes, right. So, let's keep it off of the book of Acts. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Acts chapter one, verse six. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord. Would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Right, because that's what's about to happen. The restoration of the children of Israel. Right, the restoration of the children of Israel. Not the not the Israelis. <laughs> right, because the Israelis are so-called in that land that they don't belong in. The Israelis are really Edomites. There, there's no such thing as white people. Just like there's no such thing as black people. They call the Chinese yellow people. They call the Mexicans brown people. And you ask yourself, what stupid people came up with this shit? Color, color right? What fucking idiot oh came up God. with this bullshit? <laughs> right? Because nobody's that, none of them colors. Right? Read that again, beloved. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Yep, keep going. And he said unto them, and this is Yahweh Shai and Red speaking, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father Yahweh had put in his own power. Yeah, yeah, the kingdom about to be restored back to the Israelites, right? Not all men, right? The kingdom of heaven is not for all men. When one of you brothers get a chance, find some of the priests, not you, brother, you read. Really. But whatever I'm talking about, brothers, find some priests. If the kingdom of heaven ain't for all men, keep reading, soldier. Done. Verse 8. But and this is Yahweh Shai again. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And that's part of the restoration, right? That's part of you remembering yourselves, right? Because you lost your fucking identity to what white to white supremacy. Right, your children was not taught about your history. They was taught about white masters' history, how white master took over the world, right? From Europe, from France, from Spain, right? All these different European countries taking over the world. So they didn't tell you about how you was a holy people at one time and how you felt from the grace of the Lord, right? How you was the, the number one chosen people in the scriptures. No, they didn't tell you about that because it's not in their best interest to, to tell you about.
is. So, um, uh, oh, we got something here. We got something here. Awesome, awesome. We can go back to that, um, axe. Yeah. Where are you going to start up? We started, um, uh, Menegali. Oh, yes. Um, Acts chapter 1, verse 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yeah, so the Lord's going to return back with the chariots, man. What they ignorantly call the UFOs. It's, well, really, they they right. They have an identity. They did not identify it. The unidentified flying objects. Right? Even till right now, they don't know what it is. They don't know that's a chariot to the Lord. Right? Because he saw this mind. He saw into this science fiction. He's into this science fiction madness. Right? Like Jesus Christ. This is a science fiction character. It's a bullshit. And it's made up. It's an idol. Yeah, it's an idol. Never, he never existed. He ain't coming to back to save nobody, man. Look, when he was on earth, he can save himself, right? That motherfucker actually lived, but he didn't live as a man called Jesus Christ. He lived as um, the son of Pope Francis. Uh, Pope, Pope Alexander VI. Pope Alexander VI. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, that was the Pope's son. And what, yeah. he, what was he set up for? To deceive the people, right? Because this was the image they took to the Native Americans. It's the same image they introduced to the people they took from the West Coast. Africa, this is the same image they took to the four corners of the earth to deceive the people, man. It's all about deception. Bring out the scripture I have from early brother. Um, Revelation 10 and 9. This stuff we got was loud. Revelation 10 and 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat up, and it shall make thy belly bitter. But it shall be in my mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. Well, what is this book talking about? The scriptures. Right? When you read in the scriptures, man, the scriptures ain't talking about no made up character who's about to save everybody. The scriptures talk about a savior who was sent for his people. Right? He is not sent but unto what? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. And we're gonna stay on that topic because that's the main confusion. Right? Because with this image came what? False information. Right? A false thing, false information, a false hope from a false people. A people who are not the people of the Lord. Keep reading. Revelation 10, 10. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings. Yeah, so when, when the prophets gonna prophesy again, what, what are they gonna prophesy about? Are they gonna change the doctrine, right? Are they gonna come speaking Israelites united in Christ? Or are they gonna speak whatever they was taught in the past, right? Whatever they learned in the past, because all you gotta do is remember the things that you lost, the former things, right? Like the scriptures say in First Peter, the third chapter, remember yourselves. Right through the remembrance, you know that you're not an African American, you're not a Latino or Hispanic, you're Israel. You're not a native of America, right? And the speckled birds scattered abroad, you already know you ain't the same as those people because you don't get the same love in the country as those people. No. Your ass at the bottom. Hey, you can't get no love. Look at a, a Negro and Hispanic in America. They got to become whores and murderers and sellouts just to get looked at as some important in this society, right? So they set up to what? To lose. Really, they set up to lose, because guess what? Esau gonna turn on you, and the Lord ain't with your ass either. Mm -hmm. Right, keep reading? No. Okay, come. Read what you got. So we got a book that's talking about what? The children of Israel, who are you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and deliverance is coming to who? The elect of those people. That's who it starts with. That's who it starts with, and the prophets were set up to prophesy that. Nothing else. Right, we ain't here to make these people feel good. We're not here to pass out meals, right? We're not here to become best friends with the people of society, hand out blankets and hand out backpacks at school events. 
That is not our job. Our job is to profess the downfall of America. And give the nation of Israel warning from me, from the Lord. It's Revelation 6 and 4. It says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. That's talking about the so-called white man, right? The so-called white man, he was set up to what? To take peace from the earth, right? Underneath his rulership, he has taken peace from the earth, and it has been replaced with what? Adultery, um, fornication, idol worshiping, murder, slander, right? Anything that's against the righteousness of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, that's what this devil promotes. So if you're an Israelite, you wake up to the truth. You need to be against this system. Good. It talks about yeah. come out from amongst them and be ye separate. Yeah. And I will receive you. But here you are, no man. No man, this is all I knew. <laughs> this is a tradition. My yeah. parents did this. My great great grandparents did this. You, hey. you about to celebrate Halloween and um and Thanksgiving. Yeah, because that's what they follow, the traditions of men. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it says, uh, it said to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto them a great sword. Yeah, so you saw I got that great sword and he's about to utilize it very soon. He's about to utilize it very soon. Really, the message is what? This is the end of this man's system. The Lord's about to come back and deliver us before these fuckers kill each other. Right, we got this civil war that's about to break out in America. Right, <laughs> that civil war is gonna be beautiful. They showed you a movie, Civil War, that ain't come close to what's about to happen, man. The scriptures talk about, man, you ain't never, they gonna be selling fried motherfucking human legs down the street. And the police ain't gonna be able to do shit about it. Right, because the Bible talks about a famine, talks about a pestilence, it talks about the plagues. Read that again. Revelation 6 and 4. And there, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him. That, you know what? Verse 12, I think it was. God be hell when he had opened the sixth seal. Revelation 6 and 12. And I behold, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. That was perfect. And the sun became black as sackcloth of the hair, and the moon became as blood, and the star of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casted his untimely figs. Yeah, that's talking about the missiles dropping, right? The missiles dropping right before our Lord comes to deliver us. It's going to be a nuclear war. Right? The nations are going to fire on each other. Right in the midst of it, the Lord's going to what? Deliver his people. Because there ain't going to be no way your ass on in America you're going to deliver. You're going to survive a nuclear blast coming from China, Russia, North Korea, and these other countries, right? It talks about the city going to be broken into 10 parts, right? This place is going to be uninhabitable, right? I don't give a fuck how, how deep you're going to dug a bunker. They ain't going to make it. They ain't going to make it. It says a fire devour before them and behind, right? What's that? Man, and it says, none shall escape. <laughs> none shall escape. Yeah, go ahead, read that again, beloved. It says, behold, no, no, it says, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken from, from off a mighty wind. So like, yeah, peace and destruction. All right, that fiery wind that's gonna sweep the land, it's gonna make the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard. All right, the Lord's bringing the lines of confusion. You're not gonna be able to tell Illinois from Wisconsin, Indiana, Texas. All right, all the elements are gonna melt, man. You see? And, and it's here upon us, man. It is very close. It says, and the heavens departed as a scroll. When it is no, exactly what the brother was talking about. That's talking about that fire. He <laughs> uh, says, as a roll together, and 
every mountain and island were moved out of their place. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the, in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Yeah, that's the, see these devils, they know what's coming, right? These fucking um, old school Christians, they read the Bible, right? The, the so-called white Bible Belt Christians. They read about the destruction. Yeah. They know that's talking about a nuclear blast, especially once that technology started busting out on them, right? After the um, Hiroshima and Hagasaki got trapped. They, that was the first sign of a, 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 a sign of a bomb blast. But Esau been dropping all type of bombs. Esau done even, how can they say, perfected his craft. Right? You got on um, Russia, they got one called the Great Satan. Satan too. Satan too. Satan too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of them can wipe out all Texas. Four of them can wipe out all of America. And there's more coming. It says in uh, 200,000 now. You know what I'm saying? So each pistol is going to have multiple warheads. All right, you're going to have Russia, Iran. You're going to have America's allies turn on them. All right? And, and they're going to hate the hurt, the whore, and beat it off, burn it with fire. They're going to burn that bitch. Yes, sir. That's the second death. That's what's coming, man. I'll beat that bitch. The Lord has, the Lord has a great sacrifice in Bosworth in Isaiah 34. <laughs> And how you gonna escape? That's the main question. How you gonna escape? You can't escape through your blast. Right? They even show you they got a face mask. Like you could um you could escape that radiation. Nah, you saw all that bullshit. <laughs> what they used to tell the motherfuckers oh, in the fifties? Go in your basement and um hide. Table. Like a table is going to protect you from a nuclear blast, right? This man's really making a lot of situation. Him and the elites, they got money to go run and hide. But you poor motherfuckers, you ain't got shit. Hey. He's going to run around and like they show you that one movie. What is that, the 80s, where the missiles got shot off? And all you see is people running around in fucking circles with nowhere to go. Well, you saw it recently, a few years ago, the, you know, in Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? That, that false alarm of a nuclear war going that way, people were bugging out. Some people uh, hid in the sewer camp, you know what I'm saying? one day he threw his daughter in the sewer, yeah? That's not going to save you, man. The only way out of this is to turn back to your hollow about Shemiah Hushai for your so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and your speckled bird is like warriors. All right? Only the Lord can deliver us, man, and he will. You see? Not two-thirds. Not a two-thirds. There's no Where salvation. No. There's no hope. Yeah, and also the heathen. Ain't no hope in your salvation either. They don't have a God. Uh -huh. Go uh, Verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sit him on the, on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah, so. <laughs> First off, the Lord bring destruction. So I don't know who the hell y'all praying to. I don't know who the hell y'all asking the help from. Because what the Lord gonna do, the Lord gonna make that your tomb, right? That fucking um what is that? That blue table prep and shit? Right, that bunker's gonna be your really your coffin. That's gonna be the coffin for you and your family. You guys gonna probably turn into cannibal cannibalists in that motherfucker. Right in the pocket for tell you they that flee into the mountains. And shall die of hunger. Right? They that go to the mouth shall die of hunger. You get second entry 16 by Bushan. Right? There ain't gonna be no escaping what's coming. Right? In the book of Isaiah, the Lord said, man, um, he's bringing his destruction. Right? It's the time of his judgment. What is the time of you to fear him? Because that's what the earth don't have to fear the Lord. They fear not having no money. Right? That's what they fear. But they about to have not have nothing pretty soon. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled for this. Second Ezra 15, verse 58. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. Is there some more in that if you go back a little bit? God, uh, let me start up. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, uh, verse 56. Like as thou, like as thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord Yahweh. Even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Yeah. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thy shall perish with the sword in the field. Right, because you got a lot of women right now, they ain't having no kids. Until you 
the fucking women who are having kids, man. The fucking children gonna perish. Right? Yeah. Fucking eat your children. Like it's in the scriptures, woe to uh dumb that gets stuck on those things. Yeah. Right? It says uh they wide, they children gonna be dashed to pieces, and they fucking women ravaged. Yeah. That's what the scriptures say. Go ahead. Right. The second answer is 15, verse 58. They'll be in the mountains, shall die of hunger, and eat their own flesh, and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Motherfuckers acting that commercial man when the dude is hungry, man. He turned into a whole different person to give him a snicker bar. He turned right back to whoever he was. They're taking over your thunder. What happened? Oh, it's okay. Man, they're taking over your thunder. Don't let them be. Yeah, they're all good. It's just. No, it's just. It's all good. 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 For these pine away stricken, who for want of the fruits of the field, the hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. Yeah, these bitches are gonna turn on their kids, man. Right? Especially the American woman, the American woman, the most low life woman on earth. She gonna turn on her fucking child, man. That bitch, that funky hoe, man, who ain't got you can't trust her. Right, all she do is turn on her baby daddies. She's known for aborting her own fucking kids. Yeah. Right, this is the most stupidest bitch on earth. Right, and this is the bitch who gonna bring your whole house all down. Especially all you niggas trusting in that pussy. Well, the, the house is uprooted from the, from the woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, through her we all die. Right, yeah. right, you had these funky ass hoes. They also gonna be attracting animals. The wild beasts in the field, because ain't gonna be no water for them to wash that ass. Hey! Right? A lot of you, hey, a lot of you think you're gonna turn on your women because she ain't gonna find no makeup, no hair weave, so that bitch used that big hoe. Hey. You, you had a, a week ago going to turn into Sasquatch. Yeah, a monster. You hey. don't turn on her, man. Right? The Bible talks about the love of many wax and gold. Prepare for those signs. Bring that second edge. I got a little more. Come on, man, bring it out. Uh, back in Lamentations 4 and 10, they were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Yeah, because um, what happened? The destruction of Israel about to come back again in the time of what um, Jacob's trouble. Right? Yeah, Bible, time like the old days. Come on, kill him. Where would it talk about? Um, he shall be saved out of it. It's gonna be so bad, it's gonna take for the Lord to send angels back to intervene to save us. Right? Because what, what does that consist of? A lot of dead Israelites. Right? And who's, who's the most of our nation? These women. Right? The, the main motherfucker about to judge is you black and Hispanic women, man. Bring out what you got, so. In 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 1, it says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Assyria. Verse 2, gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be, be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Verse 3, a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back? Verse 4, a fire is sent among you and who may quench it? Verse five, plagues are sent unto you, and what is it, or is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away any hunger. Hey, it's like, and what, what is this song about? It's talking about what's coming that nobody can stop it, right? You have the financial collapse. They talk about pump as much money in the system as we can to fix the system, give the people loans, um, put money, more money in the banks. They did that. Did that help anything? Not at all. Not at all. Right? I remember one time they done gathered all the fucking Christian preachers together and then brought them to DC. Or wherever they had them, they had a prayer. Pray for the pray for America. Yeah, I think it's yeah, pray for America. Pray for hope. Don't pray for that love. shit didn't help. <laughs> that shit didn't help. It so worse. Money didn't help. Prayers didn't help. <laughs> what else? That witchcraft ain't helping, man. They couldn't fucking satanic statues in front of um over on um, different political businesses and like buildings right you go to the um the city bu building and they got a fucking half man half woman statue of from it throwing up signs right so we already know this place ben gave the spirit over to satan right the only solution for this place hey man read that again 
Which way you want to start the topic? Yeah. Lord about to drop a missile in America's pussy. And you can't rescue America. Because America is a filthy whore. Right? It's known as the harlot. Right? And it says the nations have committed fornication with the harlot. With the whore, which is America. That's why the American woman have a whore spirit. Go ahead. The second Ezra 16 and verse 1. It says, Woe well be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe well be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. It says, verse 2, gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Yeah, America's destruction is at hand, right? It's going to be one day everything's okay, and the next day, oh shit, there's no more food coming to America. Oh shit, the lights are cut off in America. Oh shit, all of the police done quit in America. Oh shit, no firefighters are responding in America. Oh shit, America's fucked up. Right, that's your next reality. Oh shit, America's free. Right, look at the homelessness. You can't put all these drug addict Americans back into this society and expect them to be functional. Yeah. Hell no, man. They not on just marijuana, they on fucking fentanyl, um, heroin, cocaine, all type of shit they done made up in a lab that day. You be like, man, dude, this motherfucker fucked up. They could hardly even stand up, right? Man, they love that boy pussy, man. You go check their fucking computer. They All they got is a history of chasing boy pussy. So you can't trust this motherfucker around kids. Hey. You can't trust this stuff. Keep reading. Verse 3. A sword is sent upon you. And who may turn it back? And who the fuck is going to stop the judgment of your how about shit outside? Right? You got these stupid ass politicians, boy. They thinking they're going to stop the judgment of the Lord. They, no, they think they're going to rebuild America. Right? Donald Trump in his mind ain't thinking about rebuilding America. And they got court cases. And he busy fighting court cases, right? Kamala Harris is too dumb to do anything for America, right? So that's not the solution. Keep reading. Verse 4, a fire is sent among you, and who may quit it? That's why we got this sign. That's the future of a lot of you Americans. Your flesh is going to be burnt off your homosexual bodies, off your satanic bodies, right? Off your drug-addicted bodies, right? That's off your lesbian bodies, right? <laughs> right? That's the future of America. Go ahead. Verse 5. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is it then may drive them away? Plagues are sent. The plagues are sent, right? right? Why are we so close to the time of what, um, a Great Depression? Right? You think about the Great Depression, no, man, that was back in the past. No, guess what? America's headed to a Great Depression. Right? The, the greatest, greatest depression ever. ever. A depression you won't be able to get out of, man. Right? Go ahead. Verse 5. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Verse 6. May any man drive away hunger, a hungry lion, in the, in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn. Yeah, because it's, it's already burning. Right? The wheels are already turning. Right? The lion, he already smelled the blood. Right? He's already made the prey, don't even see him. Right? America's the prey. And the Russians, the motherfucking um, Persians, the mother nations, they're the lion, right? They see him. That's how we get this whole Oh, yeah. This whole been living prideful than the motherfucker. This whore owes money. This whore done polluted our people. It's time to get this whore, right? They, that's, they waiting for the perfect time when the Lord gives them the green light. That's right. Because that's the perfect time when the Lord gives them the green light. They can't move on their own. They got to wait for the Lord to hit, hit these motherfuckers. That's what's going to happen. Read that line again. It says, May any man that drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may any one quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn. Verse 7, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong bow. Verse 8. Hey, the scriptures 
thoughts that I've wounded you with a wound of the enemy. Right? That's America right now. It's been wounded with a wound of the enemy, man. Let's bring it out, brothers. Jeremiah 51 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. Yeah, America's Babylon. The word Babylon means confusion, right? America's the place of confusion, right? That's why a man could act like a woman in America, a woman could act like a man, but it's okay. In other countries, hey, kill that retarded motherfucker. <laughs> What's wrong with this motherfucker, man? <laughs> right? Anywhere else, ain't nobody dealing with that bullshit. Yeah, hey, in America, at one time, it, it was a disease for you to be a, a broke back motherfucker. Or, or, lesbian. or a lesbian. But now it's okay, because guess what? These devils all about money. One thing these broke back motherfuckers in America like to do is make money. A gay motherfucker spent a lot of money in America. That's why they got rights. If it wasn't for that man, it's all part of population control. The more faggots, the less children. Yeah. So they know what they're doing. Yeah, these fuckers serve no purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, keep reading. Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Yeah, America ain't gonna be here. Look at these men. They ain't ready for no fucking conflict whatsoever. <laughs> A Chinese will whoop all their ass. An Arab will whoop their ass. A East Indian will whoop their ass, right? They gay, look at them. They ain't ready for no fucking combat, but they women are. They women think they tough until somebody grab them by the pussy. Right? That's why Donald Trump said grab them by the pussy, man. He knew what he was talking about. You gotta check a hoe. You gotta check a hoe. Go ahead. Forsake her and let us know everyone into his own country. Yeah, it's so bad in America. People said they're leaving America. Even Americans are leaving America. Man, they tired of looking at each other. Look at them. They look sick. Generous. They look retarded. Right? And they fucking look dumb as hell. Brainless. Baby Huey looking bitches, right? What else too, man? They watching all this cartoon. Now they got cartoons for grown-ups. Right? And these cartoons ain't something for edification. It's for stupidity. The Simpsons. Um, King of the Hill. Family guy. Family guy. Mark Morton. Yeah. What did I say? Mark and Morton. Yeah. Uh, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Beavis and Butthead. This ain't for kids. This is for these grown ass Americans, man. Keep going. For judge. Look, look at this shit, right? You got a broke back motherfucking man. Sweeter than a motherfucker. Smell all over the place. For judgment is to heaven and is lifted upon them even into the sky. Yeah, you should be looking for the destruction of this place, man. Right? These people, they got the spirit of Lot's wife. Right? Let's get that. Let's make it that. Lot's wife. That's what these people got the spirit of Lot's wife. They love this place. They don't want to let it go. Right? Because guess what? Man, my family's part of this system. Yeah, my parents celebrated Christmas. My family celebrated Halloween. Hey, monkey see, monkey do. Right? And hey, who the spirit in power? Yeah, how about outside? We got to thank the Lord multiple times for pulling us out of this deep slumber, man. Darkness. It's darkness, bro. It's death. Go ahead. This is Genesis 19 and verse 23. I'm gonna start at 22. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything to thou become thither. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then Yahweh reigned upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. And that was a good thing, right? We're looking for the same destruction, right? That's why the Lord said he's coming back with fire. Fire to burn all these stupid ass fucking Americans, right? America's the only fucking country on earth that's going to be burnt up and not to be re-inhabited again. Because you people are so fucking filthy. Right? You stupid, retarded, black and Hispanic motherfuckers. You are the chosen people, but you acting like you're the, the motherfucker who done took you down. The so-called white man. What, through integration? Right? You done sold the fuck out. You done forgot who you are as a person. So you got to die with the cracker. You got to die with master. Right? When master go, you go <laughs> simultaneously, goddammit. Read that again, soldier. Then Yahweh reign upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain. Hey, the Bible says, um, he that justified the wicked, your prayers is an abomination. Right? You got certain people that ain't even with that homosexual fucking agenda. But hey, let him do what he want to do. That's not my problem. Yeah, you justifying the fucking wicked. You make an excuse for these fucking devils, man. 
for these abominable men, right? Ungodly men. Baba Kusha, bring it up. This is Verse 25, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and the inhabitants of the cities that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Yeah, she became a pillar of salt, right? So we told you, the scripture says, come out from among them and be separate. Separate yourselves from these weirdos in this fucking society. These weird ass people, boy. Yeah, these Christians, these Muslims, right? These people are all into politics. Right? Americans ain't into nothing whatsoever. You just your own zone. You serve no purpose. Right? You're into yourselves. Right? The scriptures talk about it in the end of times. They're going to be one lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous. Right? All these things is happening right now. So the scripture says, come out from among these spirits and be separate. And the Lord said he will accept us. That's what we got to do. You got to retrain your fucking spirit. Well, the Lord got to reprogram I don't give a fuck how hard you try to retrain your spirit. You ain't going no goddamn where unless the Lord doesn't program you to go somewhere. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach 17, verse 25. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Verse 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell and hate thou abomination vehemently. So we ought to hate the things that we used to do, man, the old man, right? The ways of this world, man, which leads to death and destruction and oppression. We got to hate that and put that off, man, all right? And put on as the new man, put on as the elect, and rehearse these righteous acts. And fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and keep the, the, the laws and the commandments to the best of our ability, man. And warn Israel, you know, eat this whole row up and, and warn our people, man. To get the elect official for the elect that they should be. James 4 and 4. Ye doctors and doctors, know ye not that the friendship of the world is here to Yahweh. Whosoever therefore be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh, man. So all you niggas running around here trying to be worldly and building this wicked ass world, do this world. Lord, man, you know, everything you do is against the Lord, man, you know, you want to build here, you want to uh, subside to these wicked ass weirdos who dancing around, oh, it's okay, they can be okay, man. as long as they're not in my house, no, no, hell no, man, the Lord is against everything we're talking about this place, man, this place is, uh, 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 gives rules to wickedness, man, you know, the homos, everything, the alphabet community, they got their own little society down the street here, man, I mean, they give, they give Israel a license to sin, to follow after their own ways, man. All right, that Gentile state of mind. We gotta come out of that and, re and return to the old paths. You see, he said in their society, man, because that's not that's not regular, right? That's not regular, man. That's why it's against nature, right? They pro they profess and promote anything that's against nature. When we say against nature, that was naturally created, a man and a woman to be together, right? Go ahead, my brother. This is Romans 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is a reasonable service. All right, this is what the Most High got us out here doing, to, uh, teaching and preaching our people and warning them that the Lord is about to destroy this place. And if you don't flee from this place mentally, all right, because you got to flee mentally before you flee physically, man, by the Lord, before you get beaten up on them chariots, man. You have to flee mentally. All right, that's verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but ye be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So let's get that word conform in the Greek. It says to conform oneself, i.e. one's mind and character to another's pattern. Fashions oneself according to, like the elder brother just said, they gave our people license to sin. Now our people follow after the heathens, man. All right? But it says by the renewing of your mind. So let's get that word for renewing. It says that renewal, renovation, complete change for the better. All right, so putting off the ways of death, which is the ways of Esau, Edom, and putting on Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which is the way of life. All right, no, no longer accepting uh, Moism, man. No, no longer accepting a woman being over a man. All right, the scripture said the 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 the, 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 uh, 
the hey the base of this world is upside down man all right in psalms 82 all right and the lord is going to turn it uh, right side up but it starts with us man it starts with us proclaiming to this devil in his face all right wisdom of solomon 5 and 1 that he's the fucking devil he's going to go down all right it says that he may prove what is that good that acceptable and perfect will of the most high all right, that's what it is about, man. That's what we out here for. Hey, we truly love you people, man. We truly love the Israelites. All right, not you fucking pastors, man. The elect. The elect. The elect. All right, we truly love the elect, man. These niggas just, these niggas doing it for filthy lucas sake. Yeah, and, um, uh, and their testimony is um, to please men. All right, they're not here to, to fill, fulfill the lot of the Lord, which is prophesying the downfall of these countries. Right, this Bible said the prophets that have been before me. Let me get that Bible yeah. shot. That's a classic verse. Right, the prophets didn't come to, like I said, they weren't handing out fucking backpacks for school. Right, they weren't um, handing out soups at a soup kitchen. Well, hey man, I asked some of the prophets, man, you got any money? He said, hey nigga, play, hey, man, motherfucker don't live by bread alone, man. We fuck from around here. Right, in other words, man, this ain't that type of show. Right, we here to give you this gospel, that's it. That's how shot. Jeremiah 28, and I'm gonna start at seven. Nevertheless, hear thou this word that I speak in thine ears, and the, in the ears of all the people, the prophets that have been before me. How the hell are you gonna speak in the ears of all the people if you're hidden in the church house? <laughs> right? You got Pastor Ben Gay, because that's what he smelled like. <laughs> old mother, the prep motherfucker, about to die. He just been talking to the same 17 people for 30 years. Has been funding his lifestyle. <laughs> Yeah, pass that tray again. Pass that shit around. You know? That's why you get mad when a member leaves. That's money that done left. A lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. That's tax free money. You're violent. Yeah, because the Lord said, I have lost none. Right. But pastor, like, man, we lose the members. Right. <laughs> What's right. going on? We lose the members. Yeah, because that ain't the house of the Lord, man. Oh, yeah, man. Don't, man. don't leave your wife or your daughter around. Or your son. Yeah. Down for the black community right now. People that got their uh, wife around pastor. Now you know these people don't read that book because if they did, they would have heard this first. It's Acts 17 and uh, it's a 17 and 6. It says, And when they found them not, and they drew Jack. My bad. 17 and uh, verse 24 it says God that made the, the world and all things therein seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth dwelleth not in temples made with hands man so we know the Lord ain't in these places man that these people that built up made all pretty and shit like that putting all demon statues all type of shit false gods in there hey the lord ain't dealing with that man he's dealing with those men that came off and did what our lord and savior did he came to speak uh, 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 to, to all the people and, the, and the, what they say uh the broad gate you know what i'm saying so hey we out here doing what the lord did we're not in the church we, uh, that's not we, where the lord is at yeah this is the actual church here of men calling out you know what i mean whether they hear from men we're looking for the elect and that's it Everybody else, everybody else is going to be condemned. Uh, the prophets that have been before me and before the apostle prophesied both against many countries and kingdoms and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that's the job of the prophets. We are here to promise out the downfall of this kingdom, uh, just like we promised out the downfall of, uh, of the last great kingdoms, man. All right, also giving out that warning to our own people that if you don't repent, you're going to get taken down with this kingdom. That's the whole message. All right, that's true love, man. Yeah, Isaiah 42, verse 9, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And how does he tell you? He speaks through his prophets. All right, the Lord does nothing but reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man. That you see on the highways and byways, teaching this word week in and week out. All right, giving you, give you warning from your Yahweh Shai. All right, because great judgment is about to come visit this place, man. You see? And once we're not on the highways and byways, once we're not online anymore, that famine of the word, you know, Amos 8, hey, it's just pure judgment for you two man, that are outside 
Oh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right now is the time of salvation, man. Come now and repent before it's too late. Turn to the Lord and, and tarry not. You see? I have one for you. Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom yeah. cries with doubt. Yeah. She uttered for a voice in the street. All right, the prophets are in the street. Man. All right? She cries in a chief place of concourse. In the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered for words saying, It says the chief place of concourse. Look, everyone's driving, everyone's right, uh, walking through here. All right, every nation will be to their judgment, man. All right, that's the point, that's the message. Okay? How long, you simple ones, when you love simplicity and the scorn of the light and the scorning and fools hate knowledge? Yeah, that's why they're not paying us no attention whatsoever. Right? And the Lord blocked their eyes and blocked their ears. Right? Matter of fact, get down to it. Man, make sure that they don't get nothing. Because this is not for them. Right? This is a um, a solemn assembly. Even though we're in the midst of a bunch of people. This is only for the elect. This is only for a chosen people, man. That's why it says, my sheep heareth my voice. These people are not the sheep of the Lord. They're the sheep of Satan. They're the sheep of the devil. <laughs> right? Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, because the sheep simply just follow. Really, sheep dumb as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. They're going to follow wherever. Hey, direction. But it says in John 10, my sheep hear my voice. Like the elder said, man. So the men of Yahweh Bashim al the, the, the one third will hear the, the voice of the Lord, which is the mouthpiece of the prophet. And you ain't got to argue with them back and forth about this gospel. Brother, prove it to me, brother. But this, hey, brother, if that's what you believe, man, go on about your fucking business. Yep. That's a one or two admonition today. And the elites look at the people as good, like you said, in this type of thing. Because uh -huh. they corral all of That's what just happened not too long ago. That jump shot, they crowd all y'all, they y'all take that jump yep. shot. Uh, yep, yep. You royal, you stupid ass people. Yeah, human cattle. Yep. Yep. And they got the shepherd dogs, which is the so called uh, the, the, the leaders, the, the quote unquote celebrities, the quote unquote pastors, all right, the false prophets, man. They the ones that they use to keep the niggas in line. Good job. They do a damn good job. Yeah, I man, them niggas got blood on their hands, man. And they, IUIC, they, all them niggas are part of it, man. Because we, we believe through the spirit that they took the bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, they took the bag, man. Shit. The bag. The spirit ain't got to tell you that. You can see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the hardest people the fact. Make the hardest people the fact. What you just said, the spirit is revealing it to us. Because the spirit is the truth. They're going against the spirit. That's how we know them niggas took the bag. <laughs> right, it tells you in Malachi, the third chapter, the last verse, that we would be able to serve who serves the Lord and who doesn't, man. Yep. And those things do not serve you. I'm trying to your own belly. Your own belly. Yeah. 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 They ain't it for Lucas' right. sake, man. Yeah. They, they ain't yeah. it for Lucas' sake. They gaining something. They, they raping the people, man. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Look at I, I, I asked you. We get a bunch of fat-ass motherfuckers. These niggas fat as shit. So you know they robbing the congregation. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Them niggas look like all they do is knock out a bullshit video and go to the public, man. What we about to eat, bro? Yeah, where the barbecue at, brother? Yeah. Where the yeah, they ain't about this truth, man. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we know first hand. We know first hand, brother. We don't mention no names, but we know first hand. They ain't good. What, what he said in the mafia movie, the people starve while you got yeah, fat. Man. That's the good. spirit, man. These motherfuckers getting fat, and other people are starving. Starving like what skinny American motherfuckers, skeleton looking motherfuckers. Speaking, if you're not an Irish, you can't smoke weed. If you ain't committing adultery, what are you doing? Put your life. black boots on to be the soldier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I order everybody to come to right, everybody right, right, from right. Israel to come to the ISU. <laughs> Man, if you don't get your ass, who the fuck is you? It's General Dude. Yahida. Right there. <laughs> uh, Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the heart back. Make their ears heavy. Go back a little bit. We gotta get the whole story. Who shall I serve? Right, because the Lord is always like, I'm like, I gotta deal with these people. Right? Because we broke everything. Right? He said, remove me from my sight, which is the land of Israel. Cut them off. He said, I done put a cloud that their prayers can't even get to me. Right? We've been cut off like a motherfucker. Oh my God. Yeah. Even right now, the only thing preserving us is the promises and the things that the Lord wrote. Hear ye indeed, 
don't understand not. So they hear what we're saying, but they do not understand. Right? How hard is it be to not understand that America's gonna be destroyed? America's Babylon the Great, that your chosen people you fell from your heritage, and now you're following after whatever your master is, your slave owner gave you. How hard is it not to understand it, right? It's not too hard. Because you'll watch a movie and be like, man, that actor, boy. Yeah, yeah, man, they yeah. took him from his family, <laughs> and he had to go serve with other people, man. You saw what they did to him. But he came back, and he got his power back. He became a king over his country. You can understand that in a fucking movie, but you can't understand that you're going through this same shit right now in life. life. And that's why the Lord blinded them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lord's yeah. over all flesh. He said, I gave them eyes where they cannot see and ears where they cannot hear, man. So as much as we can say, hey, thus say the Lord, you're Israelite, guess what? The Lord ain't dealing with them. The Lord ain't dealing with them. It's like you just said, thus said the Lord. Man, the other words that come. Man, the Lord is blocking this shit. Thus. That's all you heard. That's all they heard. Thus. Hey, but, hey, but look, that's like yeah, yeah, yeah. what I what I see with a lot of Christians out, even, even with my my mama and shit like that. People that don't deal with the Lord like that. So when you get to talk, they get to talk about the Bible, right? Then you get to tell them, no, but the Lord said this in this scripture, right? So then you get on them, they get to act like a uh, like a demon on them, right? So this is what my mama do. She get to bring she bring it up. So I get to whooping that ass with the scriptures. She get to doing this shit to the TV. And act like we ain't even talk. <laughs> I, I, I just say, I, I just leave her alone out there. I say, okay, well leave me alone. Hey, 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 she bring it up on herself. And she knows the truth, you know what I'm saying? But the no, demon on know. the demon on that back so hard. Oh, no. Right? Because the Bible said the Bible said they don't know. Read that again. He said, My people don't know. They do not consider a sinful nation, a seed of evil doers laden with a Go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah 9, uh, 16, uh, uh, 8, I'm sorry, 9, and he said, go and tell his people, hear ye indeed, understand not, see ye indeed, see not, make the heart of his people flat, make the ears heavy, and shut their eyes. So the angel made him even worse, the angel made him even worse, go ahead. These things see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. See, that's, that's called blood, man. The Lord, like, I don't want these motherfuckers. Uh, right? Like, you want them? I don't yeah. want them. <laughs> Give me that in Jeremiah. Before I formed me in the belly, I knew them. The Lord don't want them. The Lord ain't feeling these motherfuckers, man. The Lord ain't thinking about these motherfuckers. We gotta say Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 Before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So the Lord know who's his prophets. Oh yeah. The Lord know who's under a deceptive mind, under a blind eye, under a deaf ear. The Lord know all these things. The Lord knows who's the wicked. The Lord knows who's the two third. The Lord knows everything. Yeah. The Lord because you know, he created everything. Right? Everything was created from his order. So you think he don't know who he don't want and who he wants? <laughs> you think he don't know who's his sheep and who's not his sheep? It right? Says, it says Israel's not his people. Yeah. Give that five on. Oh, brother, read some more and break it down. Go ahead, bro. Oh. <laughs> you know why I was talking about that. Yeah, read Jeremiah again. Yeah, yeah, read that again. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, you know? And, and the elect, hey, they're the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Starting with the elect, the 144,000, all right, who were uh, with Yahweh Shai creating all these things, man, who were uh, predestined for the foundation of the world to give salvation in these last days, man, all right? Who are gathered today in these last days by the word, all right? You see? The Lord sent the prophets last, man. We're at the end of this kingdom, man. That's why you see us on the highways and byways that are alive. But we endure to the end and receive the promises. Go ahead, go ahead, go Proverbs 1 and 22. How long these simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you 
I will make known my words unto you. Be like said, full faith knowledge. And that's what we're dealing with, man. Y'all was speaking, speaking about earlier, our own people, man. They're fools, man. They're foolish in their own minds, their own wicked hearts. You know? They, they, they reject knowledge, man. What's knowledge? The scriptures, man. And who are the ones that's bringing these scriptures? The prophets on the highways and byways, man. You're not going to get this in the churches, man. You know? You keyboard gangsters on there, man. Hey, you got to come out to the highways and byways and learn from the true prophets, man. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught on my counsel. Yeah, because this is not popular. This is not what the world wants to hear, right? Or see. This is not what's being promoted on television, right? This is not what's hip. This is not what's fucking cool. These lame ass Americans talk about hip and cool. Yeah. Now you a motherfucking dope fiend. How the fuck you know about hip, hip and cool, cool, man? You been fucking getting high all fucking year, man. How you know about hip and cool? You can't even keep a fucking job. You can't even pay your bills, man. How you know about hip and cool, man? You a fuck, man. Come on, you losing bad. How the fuck do you know about hip and cool, man? Right? These people are such under a demonic yeah, mental state. Yeah, they they thinking up. losing is cool. Yeah. Hey, there's a rapper in Philadelphia called Skrilla, man. You see the oh, shit. He's a dope fiend. He's a he's a profound dope fiend. He promotes dope. Right. Hey, you should see the people in his concerts. Dope heads. Dope you heads. You already know. You should see you how many views I mean? he gets. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers pass out and OB at these fucking concerts, man. Popping uh, mollies and all that shit, man. You just had man. that rap who died. Yeah, uh, what the fuck his name is? Rich, rich homie gone. Rich, yeah, rich homie gone. Yeah, rich homie gone. Yeah, he just OD off that shit. No, my baby, baby mama, oh, uh, 911. He didn't come to the bed last night. I threw a cup on him. He foaming at the mouth. Uh, I don't feel no heartbeat or nothing. Hey, but he smoked that uh, drug use and all that yeah. bullshit, shit, man. So guess what he died? And it's fucking overdose off some shit nine times ten. I'm not too man, sure. Man, nine times ten, they probably poisoned his ass, man. That nigga been doing drugs for a long time. Nigga. I don't think he fucked up like that. They poisoned his ass, man. They killing these drivers. They got insurance, big, big insurance money on these niggas, man. All them albums and shit that nigga made, man. He better off dead than the lives of these people, man. I'm telling you, verse 25, but he have said at nothing. All my counselmen with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh, the joke will be on y'all niggas, man. The Lord will laugh at you, man. Yeah, all right, y'all think it's funny now, but wait till the Lord had the last laugh, boy. It's, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. You, hey, you about to go through a hell that you ain't never seen with your own two eyes on TV. All that shit you seen on TV, you thought that was horrible, you thought that was so bad, that wasn't shit. Man, you can't imagine what the Lord about to do right now, man. It ain't never been done. Hey, that's what you, hey, you get that, that uh, coming to a time that, that we had. Right oh, come, come. Well, uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, and this is Yahweh Shai telling us, For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there, shall, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, so, so bad, you got to have divine intervention. Yeah. Yeah. That's where faith comes in. The Lord yeah. said, when I come back, shall I find faith on the earth? He's going to find it with the elect, man. And that's a gift. Not everyone has faith. Not all men have faith. Right, because you would faith. The boy got to give you that, man. Yeah. You can't just get it. And it tell you also, it said, knowledge and will is wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, man. Yeah, this, this Bible, having that knowledge, wisdom, that Bible, man, that's what's going to get us through. Well, that, that word stability in Isaiah 33 and 60 is actually on the one, which is faith. Your faith is going to keep you stable in these times to come. <laughs> having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, yeah. knowing the will of the, of the Lord, right? It says in Job that we're going to laugh at famine and destruction, yeah. man. While others weep and be sorrowful, we're going to have joy and abundance, man. We're going to have merry and abundance. Be merry and abundance, man. That's what Rumbach just made a video on that. You know, the brother cutting out and made it like a short. You know, basically saying the elect gonna be straight. In the time of Jacob's trouble, man, because that's what the scripture says. Yeah. We're gonna be in the midst of it, but the Lord is gonna take care yeah. of us, man. Yeah. But the key thing you gotta have faith in, man. That's what a lot of these fucking people don't have is faith, man. It's such a separation, man. You know? They're the hopeful luck, man. We have faith in these scriptures and things that's gonna happen, man. Right. Because he saw the year come down with great wrath upon us, man. Scriptures tell us that, man. You know, he's gonna pounce on us like the scriptures say, man. And how do we see that through this technology? 
This devil's bringing out more and more fucking robots and drones for who? For you Israelites, man. And who's the Alicia in the projects, man? He does, we are a test ground for all this shit, man. When he saw what's hard to do, we bring it to the nigga neighborhood. A new food to the nigga neighborhood, man. Yeah, man. You niggas need to wake the fuck up, man. But it's about to be too late, man. You know? Nigga trusting your weapon stuff. You think gonna have them suit. Well, you can't even. Here's them with a damn night the sword. They got they call them all exo suits and different yeah, things. They've yeah. been having them video games for the last 15, 20 years. We've been playing with them doing these things, man. We know what they got out. Oh, these yeah. drones they got out now. People are some people are just now seeing this. I've been playing with my video games for years, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit been out, man. Yeah, Lord gave them all that. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because Lord making it where you have no choice but to trust in the Lord. Huh? Huh? He gonna get his glory, he gotta get his glory at the end of all this. Can't okay, nobody say he delivered himself. Man, no. no. <laughs> and he saw, he has technology that he hasn't shown the whole world yet, uh -huh. man. You know, just imagine thousands and thousands of uh, Terminators, man. man. All right, that they control from a little uh, space in a bunker, you know what I mean? They, they, they definitely showed you it in their TV shows and movies yeah. what they got. So go back to what you said, man, we definitely need Alright, it's eventually this time coming up, man. Well the Lord's gonna renew our strength, you know? So not only do we have faith, but we have to have works with it. That's a combination, man. To show our faith by these works, and the Lord's gonna renew our strength in that time to come. So that we're indestructible, man. Alright? I got a scripture right here. Uh this says uh this uh Psalm 44 and 5. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through who? The Lord. Right. That's who that's talking about. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. I will not trust in my bull bow, neither shall my sword save me. What's my day sword of gun? Yeah. All right? Yes. So it says, uh, but thou hast saved us from our enemies yeah. and has put them to shame that hate us. So the Lord is going to be the one to do it. Yeah, he's the one that teaches our fingers to war, man. Psalms 144. He's going to give us that power. All right, and the Lord's going to be glorified. All right, his name's going to be magnified. Yeah. And you're going to know it was your about Shimei that did it. Yeah, you tell you, group four says, um, how Lord said, I put you in, pretty much, he said, I put you in this situation. I'm on the way oh. to get you out of it. Yeah, verse 18. Yeah. I got you. This is group chapter four, verse 18. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. That's it, man. The Lord's yeah. going to do it. Hell you can't yeah. deliver yourself, man. Lord's going to be the one that delivers. It says we're just a, a worm. A yeah. worm doesn't have arms, legs. Huh. It's defenseless. Mm -hmm. It can't move fast. All right? No. The Lord is with us, man. The Lord is going to defend us. He said, I will always be with you, even until the end, man. Yeah, how much I is with us. He's not going to let, let us be alone. The right, main is you got to believe that. You yeah, yeah, and that's why it's important right. to know and understand your whole bunch of All right, do not waste down. this grace period fucking around, all right? But be an Israelite daily, okay? Studying. So I come give a, a, a attendance to reading, exhortation, right? And, and there's more to it. I'm like, oh, you know, oh no, yeah, because hey, you just you to know, back the brother oh. up, because I, I had to put up this picture. That's police getting beat up, and the citizens are helping the police, <laughs> right? So you're man, come who, on, who, get who, up, who get up. go for help when all hell break loose? Police. The police. Show the brothers the picture. You got the American citizens helping the police now. The police looking for Americans <laughs> to help out. They done knocked the whole head oh, off her yeah. body and now look at her. Yeah, that's the times we living in. So, yeah, man, stop. <laughs> you ain't got no help coming up unless it's from above. That's it, man. And like, yeah. like the brother said, man, that will give you your confidence right there, knowing that you gave it your all. If you know if you've been bullshitting around, you know if you're bullshitting around right. or not. Yeah. If you've been bullshitting, of course you got you got a lot to fear man, about. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, man. Now you're unsure of it. Instead yeah. of being confident, confidence means with faith, you know? Are you fully persuaded? Do you know these words are faithful and true? Do you really believe that? We'll start moving like it, man. Right. All right, because we're at the end. Yeah, man. It's no time to be a bullshit artist. Done. And if that's what you want to be, stay your ass across the street, man. And the Lord got you in the trick bag. Go over there and trick some other motherfuckers. Leave us alone. We only gathering in the elect. That's all man, you want. Show, go show you how dumb they are, man. You don't think the Lord just don't see your ass, man? Come on, man. You worry about what man think? Hey, look, they think the Lord is asleep, man. The Lord ain't done nothing all this time, man. Look, I don't do my own thing. Hey, Lord gave us free will. We got free will, dog. We can do what we want. Yeah, yeah. Man, these niggas retarded, man. These hey, like a Paul Tatar said, we see your weak ass. <laughs> Thank you. Know what you hey. <laughs> the Lord definitely sees your no, ass, man. Oh, man, come on. Shit.
shit crazy. But this is, look, this, this is to uh, exhort and, and, and you know, uh, uplift the elect. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 15, verse 8. Wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them. So we right? ain't supposed to fear but, hey, the shit that these people finna come get. All the stuff we just named, the drones and all the army shit they got coming. Man, look, we ain't got to fear that, man. The Lord on our side. The Lord is going to protect us from this devil, man. It's Nahum chapter 1 and verse 7. Yahweh mm. is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. The Lord is good in the day of trouble, man, those who trust in him. Hey. That's it. That's how long we hey. trust hey. and believe hey. and have that faith. Man, look, the Lord going to do hey, hey, whatever we need to be done. Hey. Uh, this Psalm 118 to 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what what can man do unto me? Right. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore, I should see that my desire upon them that hate me. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in me. Yeah. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All right? Yeah. They say all nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Right. And like you just said, right? It's confidence in dealing with the Lord, but when you put your trust in your so called Yo, your princes and your kings, which are your presidents, what happened? What happened? What have they done? Has anything gotten better? Have they ever kept any so-called promises? No. Everything has got worse because you're dealing with your enemy and you're putting your enemy over you. What did the Lord say about that? You're not supposed to put your enemy over you, man. Why would you trust your enemy? Come on. This man did every fucking, uh, up to most the worst shit that you could ever do to anybody in the world to you. And you turn around and you trust him. You turn around, you lay with this man. You have sex with this man. You have kids by these people. They love him. They you feel me? They trust in oppression. They're going to bow down and take the badge of the, the, the anti-Messiah, right? which is that MOTB, that micro C it. It's Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 17. No, no, 7. 17 and 7. Yeah. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh, and whose hope Yahweh is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful. In the year of drought, neither shall cease to yield in fruit. Right, you're gonna know who the Lord's chosen are, man. They're gonna trust yeah. in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Alright? It's gonna look like there's no other way out. Just like when we were led. All right, uh, with Moses out of Egypt to the Red Sea, we're, it, was like, it was like we're at a dead end. So the Lord split the water and, and had us walk on dry land, all right? And took us through that and drowned our enemies, the, the Egyptians, man. And like, and, and like in, in, in these times, man, the Lord's going to do miraculous works, you see? That is going to outshine the salvation of Egypt, man. This is going to be greater than then. But this is back in second back of these 15 and 8, wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against him, because he saw us coming with that great wrath. Alright? Uh, Revelation 12 and 12. But to remember the help which in former times they had received from heaven, and now to expect the victory and aid which should come unto them from the Almighty, man. So this is the hope we have. Hope goes into expectation. The Lord is going to deliver us, man, because he said so. All right, it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, don't, the, the Israel be like the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be returned. All right, shall return. You guys, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, please. Because if you keep reading down this Proverbs 1, yeah. all right, it tells you the punishment for the wicked, but in the final verse. The last 33? Yep, yeah, true. read that, man. Oh, I got that all earlier. Let's go. Proverbs 1 and 27, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your whirlwind as a destruction cometh, as a, your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon you. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So when, when niggas' lives get hard, that's when they gonna wanna call on Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Even these wicked ass fucking Israelite like that know the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the Lord will not receive them, man. Yeah, it's right? called Israelite as a damn good. It's gonna take a two walk together lest they be agreed, man. Dude. These niggas serve a rock god, man. <laughs> All right, these niggas serve a rock. That's great. And y'all believe me, so y'all want to go kiss the rock, huh? Yeah. Right, these niggas, these niggas, man, I, and I grew up in that shit, man. These niggas walk around a rock 
And they, they, yeah. then they start running around, man. Then they start to trample each other. Well, if nah, you fall down, nah, you nah, done. Oh, you're done. If you fall right. down, they gonna trample your ass. Yeah. Where's your God to help you up? That's Where's right. your God to save you from death? Shit is fine. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, you know, when, you, when you read them to the pearls, they get into heaven. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes. You wanna break it down? No, you gotta. It goes into little boys uh. for pleasure. Yeah, oh, that's wow. great. Little yeah, boys yeah. for pleasure. Yep. So that's homosexuality. The Lord's not dealing with that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. This thing you're talking about is like. That's bad. That's confusion in itself. Yeah. No. That's the new niggas. You know? Yeah. Jake is all lost, man. What Jake say he lost. what in the what? Muslim yeah. in there. That's who I'm talking about. They what the say. fuck is that? Oh, shit. That's what they say? No, well, Nate, IUIC banned it with the Nation of Islam to, to fight black uh, crime in the community. Or community yeah, nice. black oh, yeah, crime shit. in the black oh, community. He's he's slow. Back, he saw Ben it's infiltrated the NOI, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, and, 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 and IUIC is, uh, is a 5013, and yeah. they're categorized under uh, Islam. Oh, so, yeah, so they, they There's red flags everywhere, you right. see? Yeah, so yeah, they, get, they can't bite the hand and feed them. They right. do everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, so they know better. He might get sued or something. Yeah. You know? Or take his, uh, his, Money uh, his ministry his away. away. His paychecks. His paychecks. That shit is like 100 million in 2022. Wow. Damn. 150 million. What? And they got a plane and all that shit. So. Oh, boy, oh, they doing Big no, That's why they don't go out on the highways and byways unless it's uh, walking and talking like they're protesting. You know? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, that's the only time you really see them come out now when they protest and shit for some wicked ass nigga. But that's you see that there's a bunch of followers, you know, leading them on to a ditch. You know, the, let the blind look. Blind, 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 yeah. Blind. You know, all their, they have so many members, but not all of them are, are bringing out edification. They're not warning the flock. They're just, you know, in shiny suits and shit, you know what I mean? Garments. It, you know, they just want to appeal to the masses, man. They're carnal. You know? ain't dealing with this You must worship the Father in spirit and in truth, man. Go ahead, get there. Uh, yeah, I'm coming to the Lord. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. They will number my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own weight and be filled with their own devices. So, yeah, Lord go take out your own devices. He know what you fear the most, you know, you have to deal with that. <laughs> he know what they, he also, in fact, you also, he also know what they enjoy the most. Yeah. And he's going to use that against them. Yep. These bitches like, these bitches like trains ran on them. And like the elder Malcolm would say, the cock here still going to ride you, man. Oh, this time you ain't going to have no choice. You're going to be like that, uh, that, 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 that woman that broke bad from her husband in the scripture. Yeah, that, that's what's going to fuck up. That's going to fuck the women up. They don't have a choice. They can do all that shit, but they mad. I, I'm cho I chose to deal with this. Mm -hmm. But you ain't, it ain't gonna be your choice that day. Hey, look, bitch is slow. I, I had a woman, I was we were talking about this shit, right? And I'm telling about how this shit was gonna happen. She said, what the fuck they gonna do? Fuck me to death? I'm telling bitch, you just don't know. And look, that might be your judge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch, that might be your judge. They're gonna break in your door. Guess what? Them niggas gonna run a motherfucking train on you so ugly, boy. Diego time. Oh, yeah. Diego time. Yeah, you can't get fucked oh, up. Oh, come on, man. Literally. Yes, sir. But they don't understand, boy. This ain't no game. They think it's a joke. Oh, it's nothing. He's just thinking what they got to do, son. But that's in the script, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that they, happened. They, yeah, they wore, they wore her out, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, that, that, that's not just in the scripture. It was some fucking woman that had sex with so many men. Joe, they had to, they, her shit was fucked up and she had to have surgery on her shit, man. And like the brother was saying, because now you got control shit, but he wouldn't take 10. 20 men at one time, but she might pause, have a drink. Yeah, there, yeah. Man. This oh, ain't no man. pause to have yeah, no yeah. drink. Shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, rest time for a second. There ain't gonna be no rest no, time. Hey, no. all three of them are all so bad. Warren, I'm gonna have a spirit on these fucking bitches in that day. Boy, look, boy, hey, look, Dick, hey, look, uh, hey, look, <laughs> Dick won't get, uh, hey, Dick won't get soft for nothing. You feel me? Benjamin don't get tired. No. Come on, boy. Oh, oh, oh my God. They jumping off. Twenty feet off a damn building. <laughs> just for a damn. Just for a damn. Yeah, I, I, see, I see the bitch of mine. He drunk. He tried to jump into the pussy, but he missed the pussy and knocked himself out. Uh, 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 another nigga jumped into the pussy. They ain't even moved his body. No oh just my god. Knocked out ground. Damn. The man was asleep. Another nigga jumped off the wow. ladder into the pussy like man. pussy. Uh. Hey, Judges 19, them sons of Bilal are here, man. All right, them, them mighty sodomites, man. Them niggas are back. They never left. They yeah, never, no, they they never left. They never left. Man. And that don't mean you keep with judgment. It's just, it's just, you okay with the shit. You know, that was a joke. Right. Yep, I'm going to continue to read. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the 
and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet for the fear of evil. That's the lake. Yep, and let's get that word for quiet. You go to the Hebrew word sha'ad. It says to be at ease, to be at peace, rest securely, be quiet. Hey, so the elect will be taken care of. All right, it's going to say famine, death, destruction, sword, all these are for the wicked. Created for the wicked, man. All right, if, the, if it's not for the right, then the righteous won't get touched, man. Psalm 91, 10,000 have fallen on one side, 1,000 have fallen at that side, 10,000 at that right hand, and it shall not come nigh deep. Well, he's going to tell you, uh, talking about Jacob's trouble, and say he should be saved out of who? The elect. That's right. That's right. Right, this is the back you up. Uh, Psalms 125, chapter, um, chapter 125, verse 3, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the law of the righteous, at least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. See? So we, we can't turn back, man. All right? We have to offend less and do better. Every day, abound this word and the work of Yahweh Shai, changing ourselves in the, into the image of Yahweh Shai. You see? Because all this uh, destruction, this famine, all right, these plagues, hey, that's coming for the wicked of our people. That's right. right. That's that's why the flood came. You know, what you thought was to rock 40. All right, and, and those plagues are coming back for the, for the wicked. And now it's going to be fire. Because the Lord's going to put everybody through that test, that hour of temptation. And two-thirds are going to fold and take that micro seed in their, their hand or their head yeah. and get burned up, man, for that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, the Lord made a covenant. That's where the rain will come from. We, we're not going to destroy the earth. earth flooded, right. Right. Flooded. So not this time we'll be fighting. Yep. Fight the second from. death. And there'll be some here that will not taste it, man. Right. The water Yahweh Bashim El Shai. You see? That's why we must abide in the fear of Yahweh Bashim El Shai and continue in doing what we're doing, man. Okay. You see? The Lord's going to keep us, man. He's going to deliver us and preserve us. He's going to pass over us when He brings that fiery judgment. Yeah, man, that, that's what that's the problem the Lord made. He ain't Lord not like he saw. That right. that say some shit and then renege him. Well he saw is the father of lies, you know. The Lord's not a man that should lie. See these like again, I said earlier, these words are, are faithful and true, man. Alright, that, that's why we're so comforted by, by these words. Because the Lord got us, man. And he's shown us in this walk, all right, in this ministry. He, he puts us through trials and all, but he always overcome them, all right? Because the Lord is the one that pulls us out of them. Yeah. Yeah. Stockholm Syndrome, you know, they, they love their oppressor, man. They trust right. in them. They want to be like Well, well guess what's good? Yeah. Makes our judgment that much better. Right. Nobody gives a fuck about these two thirds. Right. That's going to be the death thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't join hand in hand with the wicked, you're going to die. They shall show you. They shall not go. Oh. Yeah, pre sale. Bring it up. This is Rock 39. It says, Death and Bloodshed. Strife and sword, calamity, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. For their sakes will come the second death, man. These, they, they, these people, these plagues were created for them. Hey, look at the shit that these niggas are doing, man. The prophets are out telling you people to get right, telling you what not to do and what to do to get to salvation. Or what? Just to say the simple pass out and not punish. Hey man, that's true. Yeah, yeah, man. He's... No, it's a weirdo. Yeah, it's a weirdo. Lord, open your mind to the truth. You see how bugged out and backwards these people are, man. They do, man. They're a bunch of beasts, you know. Like the scripture says, we were beasts before. You know, because we didn't, we didn't uh, keep these laws and these commandments, man. They're a bunch of animals over here, man. Brute beasts. All right? Yeah, brute beasts. They didn't even destroy it. If you look at these guys, these niggas tell their stories of what the fuck going on. It's, if you don't have the law of commandments in the forefront to the scripture say wisdom is the principal thing, it says therefore get wisdom with all that getting and get understanding. So if you don't have that wisdom as your principal base, nigga, you would do anything. 
we we'll have sex with your mom. This nigga's out here clapping at mama. What? Where there's no yeah. love. Where there's yeah. no yeah. love, there's no pain. Yeah, yeah. 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 No more. Mama tell me I love you. He comes off the time and he makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no more. Yeah. 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 yeah, that woman was <laughs> giving a breakdown of how she had a man and then she had a threesome with his mama and her. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And I was like, wow. And say that and say that deeds surpass the deeds that are wicked. Yeah. So some shit that you you'll be like, oh no, that was an Edomite. Nah, and yeah. this time them them these are niggas doing that, man. Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck if they look like Edomite. These niggas be Jake. Yeah. Well you know what said uh um, the way the wicks seduce them, man. They be like, nah, man, that's Yeah, nah. strip say the way the wicks the way the wicks seduce them, man. Yeah, that's niggas, they fall like that. Uh -huh. They got that script that you quoted. It's uh Jeremiah 5 and 28. Jeremiah 5 and 28. They are waxed of fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper in the right of the needy do they not judge. Yeah, man, they overpass the deeds of the wicked, man. They find some way to to make Esau be like, damn, how come I didn't think of that shit? Yeah. Yeah, that was, you enjoyed it right there. Good shit, nigga. Now let's patent it. Put it out there. Right, you know what I'm saying? How the hell did the devil himself take a note? Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, damn. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> good to, you know, hit that erase on him, like, oh, damn. Hold on. It's just good to do evil, boy. To be righteous, they don't have no clue. They don't know. They don't have no clue of how the follower will be righteous or how about shit man shot. Only thing they can tell you is about is Satan this, Satan that, Jesus that, Jesus this, Allah this, Buddha this. Other than that, they don't know the Lord you have about shit man shot. Hey, that's why they had they set up a certain Jake to be gate, uh, what do they call them? Gatekeepers? Gatekeepers. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They set them up. It's like alive. this nigga know how to do some shit. Yeah. I'm gonna just pay you to do this shit. And you keep doing that. Keep doing it. Keep yep. being my bitch. That's because yeah. really my bitch. Yeah. Like niggas, yeah. I'm gonna pay you to be yeah. my bitch. Yeah, it's like it's like Esau's the pimp, and uh, uh, they got the gatekeepers as the head bitch. Man. Yep. Going back to my last bottom bitch. Bottom, bottom bitch. Yeah. Bottom bitch. Yeah. How you have the Esau have to be the elite, and the Boule be they bitches. Doing uh, doing the the bit of the elite for the niggas. Yeah. It's Zechariah chapter 11 and verse five. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be a howl, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Then who possesses them? He saw even some of the white men. And he set up these uh, false leaders of our people, these rappers, these entertainers, basketball players, to keep to lead Jake away from the Lord. They're not telling the people, uh, telling our people who they are. Who are they teaching people, man? Yeah. Those, those, those the reverends in there too, man. They, they I'm thinking of Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton and uh, yeah. the other ones, man, you know, our people love to go see, man. And, and, and swearing they're going to get saved by giving them more, more money. More money. Just give up with money. More money. More, more money. And it came out. I think Al Sharpton was a uh, 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 foreman, a uh, federal foreman, man. Why? And he was back there with fucking Martin Luther King and all the other sellouts back then, or what? Keep you Jakes in darkness, pushing that black, yep. bullshit. black community bullshit. We're not black. We're the Israelites. But you know what? No matter what Esau do, these niggas do. You know, ain't gonna stop the election. Right no. <laughs> Lord like man, Lord like you can have these two third niggas, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys elect. Yeah, yeah, I heard 7,000. I heard 7,000 that would not bother the needs of all. Right? Like, again, hey, the elect is not here for the Lord, man. All right? He got the elect. This shit just had, all this has to play out, man, because it's prophecy. It's the Lord's That's word. It's time to go back to the void. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Look like you said. It is Romans 11 and 7. What did Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blind? So that's the way it's the will of the Lord. This Romans 11 and 4, it says, But what said the answer of the Most High unto him? The wicked I am, witch of the west. 
That's the witch on Snow White, yo. That's You crazy. You crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. This is Romans 11 and 4. But what saith the answer the most high to him? I have reserved to myself. 7,000 men. That is seven me 7,000 just means completion. Complete number of men. It ain't actually 7,000. It just means a complete number. It says, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. The Lord has his elect. It says in uh, Job the 22nd chapter, the Lord says he's going to deliver the island of the innocent. That island is a small land, man, surrounded by a big-ass sea, man. So the Lord, he has his little sanctuary. See, all these other people, they smoke. The scripture say the Lord said that he, uh, uh, the right, uh, uh, the wicked is giving us a ransom for the righteous. So these niggas, as the scripture say, they feel for that fire, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the Lord's movie, man. And it's always free, like the GI Joe. Like I'm, this one's a bad guy. This one's good. The Lord's doing the same thing, man. He's right. picking and choosing who is oh. his and who's not. All of these niggas look like skeletons. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Honor and Yup. Lord's yeah, but see what the Lord do is the property people. Yeah, yeah. right. But they be doing the shit all day, man. Yeah. Same thing, damn thing, man. But I know why, cause you're a part of the drama. That's why. That's, That's right. why it's a problem. Yeah. They man, they NPCs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an NPC. Why right. can't I be? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you watch, you watch your, you watch your, watch your movie. You got the drama, right. some spits and all that. That's a good movie. Not a not problem, drama, not a problem. Right, that's Oh, it. no, I don't like this one. Yeah. This movie sucks, man. Right. Because I'm involved in this shit. They got a background here. Yeah. <laughs> Some bullshit, man. Extras. Extras. Who else got to get in where you fit in, nigga? Right. This Romans 11 and 7 now says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Well, that's all it is, so we. Why get mad when they don't get it? Because the Lord didn't want them, don't want them to get it. And tell you, Isaiah 6 and 9 said, you had angels watching the figure not to get it. You know? Yeah, let their table be a snare. You know the same people that wanted Barabbas over your house shy. All right. He said, man, it's going to be about us and our children. So that's what you're going to get. That's it. Lord, leave and give you what you want. Oh yeah, I mean he makes it rain on the just and the unjust. You see? I got the uh, Lord like oh yeah, he has left habit, but guess what? He might have to deal with the consequences that come with it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why hey those that, that, that make it the elect, yeah. hey they're, they're another there's nothing better than the fear of the Lord, nothing sweeter than taking the commandments of Yahweh Shah Shine. That's right. You see? This is uh, Romans eleven and eight. As according as it is written. The Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. That's what Jake wanted. They don't want, want to serve the Lord. Yep. Oh, Lord, like, okay, cool. All right. They don't love the Lord. They say ignorance is bliss. They say it's, it's better to, to not know and this, that, and the third. We tell a nigga the truth. The first thing he was to say, what they got to do with me? Why, why I want to know that? <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. I want to know that the Lord would destroy my kingdom. Stupid ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Y'all ain't living because in our world, man. Right. America's the world, man. I love it. It's the land of the free, man. You can do what the fuck you want to do, man. That's, that's, that's the whole point, point man. <laughs> the Lord too strict for them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, look. But they saw allow them to do whatever the hell they want to do. Add sin to sin to add sin to sin, man. That's why he saw go pay with these things. And what the Christians love to say. How we gonna be able to keep all those laws? That's too many laws, we can't do that. And that's why we not under, we can't do that. And that's why you fucked up, that's why the Lord gonna kill you, man. Because right, yeah. you can do what you can do, right? Because, hey, look, even though we ain't in our land, we can't keep them all, but guess what? Hey, look, we gotta rehearse, we gotta yep. study and, and build up on that and follow that, man. Because yeah. that's the only way the Lord gonna deal with us in, in the time that we coming in, man. If we not focusing and paying attention and listening to Yahweh Bashim Shah. Hey, we fuck. You screw. Yeah, yeah, Lord, Lord wants to see who's going to put forth their foot. No, right. yeah. Who's going to put their best foot forward, man? Because we sit every day. We can't we sure. can't uh, keep this perfectly, but we try through faith to right. the best of our ability, and the Lord sees that. This is the third book of John, chapter 1, verse 4. I have no greater joy 
than to hear that my children walk in truth and how it has that blueprint. That's right. That's who we uh, hey. emulate after. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And Following he, his righteous habits. All right, and examples that are written in these scriptures. Yep. And a lot of Christians say, well, how can we do that? Hey, our Lord and Savior came here as a man. Hey, wait, what, wasn't he perfect? Then he walked and did what he's supposed to be doing. Why you can't do it? You tell me. It's just all excuses. Yeah. But now it's all right. Scripture says, Simple man, hope you're a fool, but find that excuse for us. Yeah, yeah. It's grievous to them. Grievous to them. The Lord and his word and being righteous is grievous to these two thirds, man. They can't stand it, man. You hear me? They'll kill you. They'll they literally want to kill you and shit because you speaking Yahweh Shemah was shot, not Jesus. Well, they stole the prophets in the past. They're going to come yeah. up against us oh. now. Yep. They're the same thing as they strive against yeah. the priests. They did it in the past, and they're going to do it again. All right? But the Lord's going to defend us. This ain't 70 AD, man. We're going to rise up, man, when the Lord gives us that power, that green light. Like Apostle Tahar said, oh. hey, we're going to be jumping over Edomites to get you two-thirds. Hey, right. hey, no way. Hey, because this is what's happening. They already doing it. By scoffing. Yeah. Well, they got to fulfill their mission knowing the last day they'll be stopping. They come, you know? The reason why we say that, because that's gonna be the only time that we gonna be able to fuck you niggas up. We can't fuck you up in the kingdom of heaven, so we gotta get your ass now. You know what I'm saying? We gonna take your ass out now. We know. 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 The most I have given them the spirit of slumber. And part of their spirit, they don't want to let go of wicked shit. So when they come up and hear this word, there's something that they won't stop doing. Then they don't know oh, fuck this. Right, right. Go, that's now part of the spirit right there. Now they want to throw the whole thing out the window. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat pork. Right. I can't eat pork. I can't eat lobster. Yeah. Yeah. Crabs and shrimp. Yeah. You gotta change. Yeah, yeah. And that's that what that little boots said. The Lord didn't put the food here, man. And we can't eat the food. Man, fuck that man. I said, man, if I'm going here, if there ain't nothing here for some goddamn punk, I'm gonna eat some goddamn punk. I said, man, look, that's why the Lord gonna kill you niggas, man. Because y'all ain't got no faith, y'all don't believe in shit. Y'all don't believe, and, and it's a dietary law for a fucking reason, man. It's a reason, so your ass won't get sick. So you won't be filthy and fucked up like the rest of you. People. You won't have to go see this fucking white man for some goddamn drugs. You feel me? That's why it's in play, man. It's for your life, for you to live. Not for you to fucking suffer and die. That's Esau way, man. Fuck me up. They look just like that shit. But it might have been him. You know that nigga old as fuck, right? Fuck around, you. Oh yeah, you said dietary laws, and not only that, it didn't keep us in water. Nigga, if you eat, you first of all, a pig, that shit is not food. Come on, man, that's You can't say that's fucking food. That's not fucking food. And Lord, purpose for that is. For him to be the bottom feet of the earth. Yeah, exactly. that's what. And, and, and Any time a man had a pig on the farm, it was to eat the bullshit that they, and the other animals weren't gonna eat. He didn't want to clean up, and that the pig fucking ate any goddamn thing. Just to back you up, because it's the same thing for, let's say, a cockroach. Nigga won't eat a cockroach. <laughs> nigga, the niggas gonna eat a shrimp. Come on, not man. A, not a 450 million shrimp a year, and now the bottom of the sea is even dirtier. It's, and exactly. gets more dirty. That's why your fucking water that color. Because they take all the animals out of the fucking water that's supposed to clean the water, man. And they feed them to your ass, man. That's why they're saying this, you are what you fucking eat, man. Man, you need to slow. It says, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until his day. And David saith, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a wrecking pistol to them. That's why niggas be inside with all these other bullshit ass philosophies yep. and shit. Be looking up, oh, what's the way? They can't get it. Because the Lord has them blocked, man. These niggas are wicked, man. A nigga, I'd rather fucking eat a pork chop than eat a fucking piece of chicken. That's great. A nigga, and then the thing is, you got all these different lawful meats and foods that you can eat that taste way better than any of the other shit. Like this one nigga, um, she, she, I don't know why the fuck she started talking to me. Oh, the one, she, I'm inside the to produce section in my shit. She, yeah, man, I'm finna, I'm finna make some salmon, I'm finna put some asparagus. I'm damn, that sound good. And then, I wrap the salmon and bacon, oh. and I said, what the fuck is you doing? 
Unto my servants, the prophets. That's the only reason why we out here and be able to talk to you and, and do what we do. He's given us the secrets, man. Because we went to we went to church. We was Christians. We was uh, uh Muslims. We was all that. We didn't know what the fuck was going on until the Lord pulled us out of there. He gave us the secrets, man. We put in the work. He gave us. He woke us up at the time he wanted to be woken. And yeah, this is Sirach 27 and 9. The birds will resort unto their life. Right. So will truth return to them that practice in her. Yeah, cool. we, we, we do this before, and the Lord returned it back unto them. Well, yeah, the right. spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Yeah. We're we'll back in our lives. We receive it. And Lord willing, again, I'll say it, we endure to the end. Yeah. All right? right? It says, Matthew 13 and 11, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them, it is not given. He was given unto what? It says, it is given unto you. He was given unto you. You is meaning what? The prophets, man. The 144, the elect. It was given unto them to know the secrets of this book, man. Not everybody else in the world, man. Not your pastors and your priests and all these so-called uh, uh, religions that y'all deal with, man. The Lord ain't dealing with them, man. He's dealing with these men that you see out here on the highways and byways. Because it was a time they were now here. You didn't see this. Now you should know that the Lord, hey, he's coming back. Why? Because you see the men of the Lord out here now. You see the prophets out here prophesying. They're telling you everything that you see on the team. They're breaking everything down for you. If you need a teacher, if you want to go see and learn what's going on, hey, look at the prophets. The prophets, man, hey, look, of GMS. Yes, we got the truth, the 100% truth, man. Nothing but the truth. That's all we gonna tell you. That's it. That's all. Second Thessalonians two. Second Thessalonians two and nine. Even him, whose coming is after the working of Satan. He saw him the serpent playing white man. His coming is after the working of Satan. It says with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So they, these niggas are going to perish. The Lord didn't get them to uh, understand. These niggas have been wicked since the beginning. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. They come back and they lie to every time, man. That's right. right. Like, whoever brought you with Brother Red, you know, Brother Sir, Zora, Tay Light. They coming back and they lie too. Yeah, the scriptures tell us that let the righteous be righteous and the wicked be yeah. wicked still, man. The wicked don't be wicked from the past, they come, they here today. The righteous that was from the past, they here today, man. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. One more verse. It says that for this cause the Mosai should send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie 
that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And these people have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. These niggas love doing some wickedness. Yeah, they yeah. said they call these great plays peace, man. You man. And Lord know that about them. That's why he be not, he not will never open their mind to the truth. Huh? First uh, Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Alright, so the prophets are back in their lot today. Alright, and on the balance of that, the wicked are back in their lot today as well. Alright? So only the prophets will, uh, will gain, get this word and go out and teach. And the wicked will not receive this word, man. They'll continue to rebel. Alright? So that's their lot, just like it's our lot to come here and teach, man. This uh, second Corinthians four and three, it says, "But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost." We go to where it lost, it goes to perishing, man. These niggas can't get us because the Lord has them slated to be destroyed. These niggas, hey, as we read in the other scripts, they have pleasant and righteousness. These niggas love doing some wickedness. They interviewed yeah. this young nigga. He was like, "No, no bullshit. No more than thirteen years old." In Oak Block, right? They asked him, hey man, what, what would you, if you could change anything in old block, what would you do? He looked at him like, this is an Israelite. He said, that's right. Y'all no, Israelites, he right? Yeah. Nigga, he was like, I'm a, uh, it's a he was like, uh, it's a uh, uh, yeah, uh, I know, I know who I, I am. I wouldn't change shit. Right. That's right. The nigga hey, said, he hey. wouldn't change shit. Yeah. Hey, but now, but now, now that you know, you gotta apply it, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, I, tell, I try to tell everybody who, you know, who don't, don't know who we are. Yeah, study, bro. Yeah, yeah study, man. My dad's is like, too. Yeah, I know you are. I also, wait, who are you? Who are you? Who are you following? Who do you follow? Uh, who is it? I see it. I see it. Something like that. I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah, hell no. What's the name of the Lord? Uh, Yahweh. No, no, no. Yahweh. Yeah, something like that. What's the name of the other son? Yeah, how was y'all? Yeah, how was y'all? Yeah, that's what it is. He delivered. He said, you gotta call them those names. IUIC, they don't tell you the name of the Lord. What does IUIC stand for? I don't really know. Oh, shit. It's like United in Christ. Christ is not a Hebrew. So how are they promoting the Hebrew Israelites that still call them from the Greek names? That don't make no sense. And you can't, you can't, hey, when you follow things, you gotta look up stuff, man. How do you not know who you follow? You yeah. got to really go into the. Uh, my, see. my dad tells me it, so I just. Hey, okay, hey, but yeah, still, I, you know, it's like your job right. to look up things. Yeah. It ain't your father's job. He can tell you stuff, get you information, but guess right. what? It's your job to go look up the information he got you and see if it's right. right or wrong. Do you know what the Mark of the Beast is? Yeah. yeah. What is it? That's like the new uh, order. Well, what is it? What is the yeah. physical thing? What is the physical mark? It's like the uh, like the chips and stuff. Or the, it's the RFID microchip. Yeah. That's the that's the market of beast. Now, they said it might be a tattoo. No, it's not a tattoo. It's, it's something that's going to be right, fake. Right, 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 right. right. You won't be able to buy or sell without it. Yep. My, dad, my dad is Judah. He's from the tribe of Judah. Okay. That's my stepdad, really. What's your yeah. real father? Who's your real father? Uh, he might be, he's, it's a cartoon, but you I don't really know right. what he decides. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey, uh, you got notes? Yeah, get him a quick. Yeah. 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 Uh, I had a uh, uh, no. Hey, the time is short, man. Repent. Yeah, time is short. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's almost over. Can you read this real quick? Listen yeah, to this. This, this Matthew 7 and 22. Oh. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Yahawashai, oh. Yahawashai, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye work, ye that work iniquity. Right, because it's more than just knowing that you're an Israelite. You have to live as one. All right, you have to put on as the elect. See, and be moved with the fear of your whole body. To feed his flock. The Lord said, if you love me, you know, feed my sheep. Right. You can't be just telling wherever you want. You gotta be on the highways and byways. The Lord set us up to be a spectacle to the world, man. All right, that's now dealt with. Yeah, I know. All of be not people. Yeah, true. Yeah, because in that day, man, it's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna talk about what they think they did, man. And it's a lot of people that think they're doing the right thing, but they sincerely doing the wrong thing, and they're gonna have to pay the price for that. Giving out turkeys, giving out book bags. And helping right motherfuckers there, out shit. is not what's gonna get you across the finish line, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Can you read uh, Revelation 
2, Revelation 2 and 3, where uh, y'all tried to visit the seven churches. So he told them they he committed them on the thing they do doing right. right. The thing they do doing wrong, he's like, is that correct then? Or, or I'm going to come destroy you. Pretty much yeah. that's what he said. Yeah. So it shows there's it's more to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always room for improvement. Right. And, and the way Esau got this world set up is so wicked that the things that are the most wicked to do against the Lord are made like they are not a big deal. You know, this brother not knowing the Lord's name, and it's not his fault. He didn't know. All right, but calling on JC is the wickedest thing you can do. Yeah. Putting the idol before the Lord is the wickedest thing you can do. Yeah. But everybody don't think that that's that big a deal. Yeah. Being an adulterer is one of the wickedest the things you can do. But that's a regular, normal part of society, man. They yeah. They tell, they tell Just like that brother said. That's the most fucked up thing you can do when in time of trouble, you call on a whole nother guy. Sarah Blaine, what she said. In Jesus' name, I, what, 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 what happened to him? Yeah. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah. 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 I said you the name of the captain. Oh, that's what I was just saying. He's all fucked up. Okay. Well, that's good. It's just hearsay. Like, okay. He's not moved with spirit to really get it. That's what we have to instill. One thing we know about the Bible, it's not a feel good spirit. Hell no. If you come to serve the Lord, it's not about what makes you feel good on the inside. It's really about making yourself uncomfortable so that you can close yeah. Because yeah. what's comfortable in this society is not what the Lord is looking for, man. Exactly. The Lord is not looking for niggas that want to be closed, niggas that don't have respect for the Lord, niggas that are just overall degenerate. The Lord not looking for that. You have to, and we all came from that. We all started there, but you got to turn back from that and adjust yourself to be presentable to the Lord if you want to make it, man. You got to be like the Lord ain't the, the Bible said acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity. Right, if you're not ready to go through trials and tribulations, this is not for you. If you're not ready to lose friends and family members, this is not for you. If you're not ready to lose your woman, this is not for you. If you're not ready to lose all your life, this is not for you. The Bible said he that findeth his life shall lose his life. Right? And what happened? A lot of these men who then became his wives, they said, I can't deal with great millstone. Great millstone is too strict. You can't eat pork. You can't get a line up. <laughs> you can't get your hair out. Right. This is the standard of description. That's it. Right? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. This is what the Lord said to do, man. We're not trimming our ways, man. This is what it is, whether you like it or not. We so, didn't so, 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 make none of this up, man. Everything comes from the, the scriptures of God by Shem Al Shah. That's it. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in the anointing, how shot. He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are coming. So you got to kill the old man when you wake up to the truth. Absolutely. This is uh, Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You can be saved by it, man. All right, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's it. Ain't no, uh, 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 what do they say? JC, Yahweh, Yahuwah, uh, Jehovah, Yah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Yah. Oh, Jah. You know what I'm saying? For them, uh, Caribbean sense. Caribbean yeah, shit. The the yeah, oh, God. Well, we know Yah is not his name because Buster Rhyme was somebody. Yah, 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 Yah. Let's be honest. Uh, give me a um, book of John 17 chapter right quick. Yeah, let's go to John 17. Let's see what the Lord talk about. Let's see what the Bible talk about. This is uh, Romans 12 and uh, 2. It says, And be ye conformed to this world. It's like, 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 it says, And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. You gotta, hey, you gotta be transformed, renewed in your mind, not, not of this world, because this world told us a whole, taught us a whole bunch of fucked up shit that's re, uh, reverse of your high shit, man. I was shot, man. So now, we, hey, look, hoping and praying that the Lord is dealing with you. Now you gotta get into this book and understand that, look, we gotta follow the laws, that's commandments, your high shit, man. I was shot. It's a, it's a standard that the Lord got. That he wants us to follow, that we have to follow you know in order to be saved. Yeah, you know Lord had him run into us. That's the Lord's direction. Come on, man. Hey, look. Hey, you hey, hey. Not what's wrong, brother, you know what he's trying to do. Yeah. Just like the brother said, hey, the Lord just stretched out his hand. But guess what? 
Is that man, is that man gonna take that? Is That's he it. gonna listen to that and deal with that? Or is he gonna slap that? Come on, man. Is he gonna push it away, man? Look, my girl, man, she nah, tripping, man. Cause that bitch was tripping. <laughs> He was tripping a little bit before well, he, he got over there. Well, he was tripping too because he wasn't fully persuaded. Well, yeah. he didn't even, yeah. you know, he, he didn't know, he was unsure of the name uh -huh. uh, of the group yeah. he's learning from. He, he wasn't sure. Hey, look, he ain't really learning from that group. He just heard about it's it. About, it's with. about just being able to speak. Does it sound cool? Yo, to say yeah, you know yeah, shit, you yeah. Know? yeah. Yo, it's, I'm, I'm walking around, you know, he got his little <laughs> chick with him, so he want to look smart to the people. He want to look cool with us. It's not about that, man. Right. The first slide was that long hair. And you people, and you people need to learn, man. Because yeah, you allowing yeah, others to walk yeah, through into no, destruction. No, you know? And the <laughs> brother had that spirit. Talking about my dad told me, so I'm listening to my dad. And like I said, you know, Jake don't know no better. We all learned. Alright? And it was a point in time where everybody that's up here was doing wicked ass shit, man. And was listening to what other motherfuckers were telling them the whole night. Alright? But having that spirit of I'm allowed to the scriptures say that you gotta seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You're not gonna be able to go to the Lord and when he asks, well, why you call on JC and you tell him your daddy told you, that's not gonna be an excuse, man. You gotta seek the Lord 10 times more. It was our minds to go astray. We gotta seek the Lord 10 times more. Man. Right. We gotta be like the church of Maria and go into these scriptures for ourselves. Man. Right. Yeah, bro. You see? So, Lord, make sure you have that by having the word up. Yeah. No more excuse. No more excuse. No excuse when he saw us. <laughs> uh, this is uh, John uh, 16 and 4, right? It says, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Right, because we are the disciples of Yahweh Shai. Right, as a disciple of Yahweh Shai, you got to continue with the work that Yahweh Shai was doing when he was on the earth. Right, what was he doing? Glorifying his father. Right, magnifying his father and what his father has done to for his people. Right, helping you Israelites remember who the fuck you was. Because right. most of our people been pushed out of the land. Right. Most of our people don't join us to other nations. Right. right. What it says, um, you shall discontinue from your heritage. Yep. And the Bible says, um, there shall be a falling away. Yep. So we fell away, we discontinued from our heritage. Now, through the preaching of this gospel, we're coming back to our heritage. That's right. right. Go ahead. It says, verse 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men. What do you guys mean? You are you have the Bible, you're you, you claim you're a Christian, but we don't know the name of the Lord. Right. The Bible says, read this again. It says, John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. So there's certain men that the Heavenly Father gave to his son. And those men, what do they have? They have the name of the Heavenly Father. Yep, sir. So any church talking about we don't know his name, oh, you fucked up. that is not in, no, no. Those are not the men no. that the Lord gave to his son. That's Lord a red flag. Yeah. That's a red flag. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if they don't know the name, that is a red flag. Right. Yeah. Run the other way. If they Jesus, it's a that is a flag. red flag. Hey. It's, it's like that. It don't matter. That it's is a red, red flag. flag. Hey, that's <laughs> like a, it's like this thing that come on a certain like YouTube video clips and shit. It's like, run. Da, 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 da. Yeah, like, yeah, you you the run. Right. <laughs> it says, um, it said, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept my word. They have kept the word, yeah. right? What's one thing about IUIC? They keep changing the word. Oh, my good. Right, because they, they they all came from, we, all yeah. these Israelite camps came from one west. Yeah. Now they Muslim. Now they walking with bases. Yeah, now they Muslim. <laughs> right? You know, bald know. head. All these niggas got bald heads on, and bald faces. Line, that's dreadlocks. Line, everything. You got a thousand um, Barney looking motherfuckers marching through a neighborhood. Now we call the police and they come in. Hey, these these purple too looking purple looking motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas, this is bullshit. They got this motherfucking bull horn around here, baby. I'm trying to get you goddamn sleep. Hey, the man, fuck? read out those scriptures. Read up here. Read up here. Read us a march. All those other heat. What? Fuck. Niggas couldn't even make their own songs. These niggas remixed it. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my God. Acts 4 12, neither is there salvation oh. in any other. Gotta read it again, yep. Neither is there salvation in any other, yep. for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby wow. we must be saved. None. You have specific name. Yep. Yeah. One percent that he don't have. He got many names. It's Jehovah Jireh. It's Jesus. It's, hey man, look, fuck that. The man, the Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shot, man. Hey, what is it in Job forty? What is his name? What is his son's, son's name? name? If thou can, thou can tell, tell, man. Proverbs thirty. It's not. It's, it, it's yeah, not. It's, yeah, cause it's not like you think it is in the world. Oh, everybody know the name Jesus. So his name got to be Jesus. Well, no. Then, let's deal with names. Who has multiple names? You don't know nobody with multiple. My name is, my slave name is Gregory. If I go to Russia, Gregory. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, know, you go to Mexico, it's the same Gregory. Shit. It's the same fucking thing. Roberto. Yeah. Robert. <laughs> you can't call these niggas any old thing. Come on. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. Any, if you call somebody uh, outside of what their name really is, they get upset and they start getting pissed. Oh, come on. Hey, 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 you know the dumbest shit that, that the dumbest shit ever is people say, well, his name was too hard, so we started calling him Jesus. I said, okay, now. Nah. Where did they get that from? Well, where did they get that from? The scripture. The yeah, yeah, you got it from, because they, they printed Jesus in the Bible. So that's why you got it from. But the thing is. The Lord says the names, Lord, shall be um, amongst the heathen. Dreadful, dreadful amongst the heathen. That's why the heathen ain't supposed to know. They're not going to tell you, man. They're not going to tell you, man. Hell no. They don't want you to know. They don't want us to get out of the position that we in. Yeah, yeah, because if you know that means you'll be calling on them. And you know what's crazy? Yo, they, yo, scholars that put out for information, they know, they know the true name. But guess what? They ain't gonna push it. They ain't gonna put it out there. And, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's well, the they thing. They, 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 they hear it. Hey, hey y'all forget, man. The Lord is only coming for the elect, man. It's not about that's the whole, uh, all of Israel, man. You forgot about that part. Yeah. Right? Because we read earlier when we opened it, it says, well, they put Acts 1 and 6. But well, now we start or in the book of Acts, we start a kingdom unto Israel, and not unto everybody. Now, it back to right, think about the kingdom following this one. Why would it be for the East Indian? They, 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 right they kingdom right now. They right now. They got all the gas hey. stations. Shit. Come on. Nah, no. so why would it be for the all Chinese? Chinese? Hey, and they got all the hair salon stores Look, and shit. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese spots. Give the kingdom to some niggas eating. These niggas eat cow shit, bro. No, no, fuck the cow shit. Yeah. They yeah. eat rats. They eat cats. They eat dogs. What a they eat humans. Cow. Come on, yeah. man. I seen and a bro, bitch. This bitch, cow this shit. bitch took her face in just Georgia the jungle. Some cow shit, man. No, what, what about the African that stuck his head into the, uh, the horse ass? You got a question? You got a question? I thought you were Oh, no, it's just... Yeah, this way. Go ahead. You can go that way. We were recording this way. Okay. I thought you heard Kyle no, shit got excited. No, you heard the food we were talking about. He was like, where is it at? Yeah, no, we don't have to feed you. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. He said, where this rush came out? He had his bike stands. Come on, catch it. No, put it in there. Hey, what's up? Hey, that nigga got, that nigga was a tree. Where the fuck did that nigga come from, bro? I didn't even see that nigga walk up, bro. I looked up and the dude was standing right there, Joe. What the fuck? The brother took a cat down. He's like, what's up? Oh, shit. That nigga respawned. Oh, shit. That's what happened. That nigga respawned. I said, cat and dog. That's why he stopped so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. See through This is uh, Judith 11 and 10, chapter 11, verse 10. Therefore, O Lord and Governor, respect not his word, but lay it up in, in thine heart, for it is true. For our nation shall not be punished, neither can sword prevail against them, except they sin against their gods. So these heathens want us to keep, uh, they want to keep us, they want us to stay in iniquity. They don't want to give us the name of the Lord. That's like a lifeline for us to call, you see? So uh, uh, Judith 11 and 10, there's another example in chapter 5, got verse that right 17. Here. I got that right here. Go ahead, go ahead. This is the book of Judith, chapter 5 and verse 17. And whilest they sin not before their power, 
they prospered because the power that hated iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemy. But now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now therefore my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. This back something the Lord before us, we can hear this. That's right. 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 As long as we please in our Heavenly Father, right. we're going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason for the Lord yeah. to jack, jack yeah. us up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's why they want you calling on JC yep. and Allah yep. so and, and, and your ancestors or whatever the fuck it is niggas doing nowadays because these heathens know that none of them none of them things are gonna answer the phone when you call them, man. No, no. But when you call your how about Shim Yahweh Shai, he gonna pick the phone up and he gonna come do something about what's going on down here, man. Why you just uh, pierce the clouds and enter into his ears? That's right. You know, our prayers, I'm sorry. Why you he did say he said clouds that uh, that's your two thirds. Your prayers can't get through. But the Lord here is elect. And why yeah. you think uh, why you think the man has the Lord's name, right? Because he don't want you praying to the power. Yeah. He don't want you asking the Lord to help you and protect you and things like that. That's why he gave you all these other gods' names, man. Right. And, and the Lord said, he, he probably said that, hey, you're going to serve other gods, man, of wood yeah. and stone, man. Yeah. And that's why you do what you do. And you're not going to wake up and understand it. That's why the Lord is going to destroy you. Yeah. And that's, why, that's why when you read Psalms 83, they say all the nations have had a confederacy yeah, against the Israelites. It says, let, that, let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah, all right, so you read Wisdom of Sodom in the fifth chapter. All right, when you see it says, when the righteous shall stand in great boldness against yeah. such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. You read verse 2. It says, they that see it shall be afraid with terrible yes. fear, man. Yeah, that's right. what I was just thinking that uh, great fear fell upon them, you know, that saw us, two witnesses. Because here it is, you have the, the southern and the northern kingdom coming back together, gathered by the word, standing boldly before all these people, man. That's right. You see, and that's why they're moved with fear, because these, uh, these devils, they be, uh, they believe and tremble. And that's why they're building bunkers, all right? They're building uh, 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 robots, like Terminators, to fight yeah. against us. All right, and then they know the Lord's coming. That's why they made the whole space for us, man. That's right. You see, so hey, we're at the end, man. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. All right. Go ahead, bring us down. Are we done? Uh, All right, with that. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Give it up. Let's go in. Right, good. Take a second. Right. You're the young bro. Hey, with that, hey, we want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, we come for Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and to the brothers that preach this word of truth and sincerity and charity and risking their lives to do so. To so y'all, we say shalom. Shalom. And above, 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 above. 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 Above, above.